Iga Svantec gave an emotional post-match interview. We will get to that in one moment. As the ladies hug at the net, Yuvon's her best friend. I've been saying it for the longest. A lot of people was not aware. Yes, they are best friends. A lot of people thought Iga and Osaka were good friends. They are good friends, but in terms of best friends, Yuvon has that title. Now, Iga would go on to say in the... Francis is next. He's going to have to wait. Who's in IT today? Come on, guys. Now, Iga would say in the post-match interview that she does not have a lot of best friends. And look, Iga, it was emotional. You could tell she got a little bit teary-eyed. Being an athlete takes a lot of discipline. And we see all the talent they have, all of the God's gifted abilities they display. But when the lights, cameras are not on, these athletes are in the gym working on their footwork. They're working on their backhands, their serves. They're working endlessly around the clock. It takes discipline to make it to this level. And congratulations to Ika's father for even starting her in athletics. She, she's so talented, she could have been a professional swimmer. She could have been a soccer player, but she shows tennis. And Ika, I'm here to tell you, listen, guys, when you become an adult, like we all are, most people that follow this channel are anywhere from the age of 30 all the way up to 70 plus. You don't have many friends because day to day when you're focusing on business and your families and handling your responsibilities, you start to lose friends when you become disciplined. The most disciplined people in life will not have a lot of friends because most people are not disciplined. And Iga got emotional, but I'm here to tell you, Iga, you may not have a lot of friends, but you have millions of fans and people around the world that love you and admire you. Now, here at Tennis in a Minute, I'm good energy. Yes, I have to discuss the good and the bad. When she plays bad, I have to discuss that. But there is by far a lot more good videos on this channel when we're talking about Iga's character, her philanthropy, her game, her win streaks, her amazing talent. So although Iga gets emotional having to play her best friend, we want Iga to know you have millions of friends you don't know about around the world. This was a great match. You played amazing. And if you continue to play this way, you will win the U.S. Open. Hands down. It's okay, Iga. You're number one in the world for, what, 74 weeks now? And it looks like you'll be number one in the world for at least a guaranteed 75th week. Iga Sviantek defeats her best friend, emotional in the post-match interview. But it's all right. You're still the best. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.